Hello, and welcome to another uh, Ramen review. So, it's been a few weeks since we last did one, but uh, myself and a friend uh, went ahead and ordered some from Japan, and they finally arrived. So, over the next few weeks, hopefully, we're going to uh, upload a review every week or two, maybe? I don't know, there's no schedule, my channel's never handled. But anyway, as I mentioned, it is not just me doing it today, as I am joined by my friend, Dan. Ah, ah hey Dan. Right, so, um, as you can probably tell from the thumbnail of this video and the description below, we are going to be reviewing these. Um, this is Chili Tomato by Nissin. So, Nissin are the people that, I believe, make Shin Cup and a few other things. Um, and it's pretty self-explanatory, this one, actually. There's not much to go on. It is chili tomato, and tomato flavoured. Um, if you are interested in what the packaging looks like specifically, here's a quick look at that. Okay, so this is a close-up of the packaging. As you can see, it is by Cup Noodle, the uh, imaginatively named company. The name of this particular product is Chili Tomato. And uh, in katakana there, it does indeed say Chili Tomato Nudoru. Uh, Nudoru? Yeah. Um, up top, there's not much going on. It's, oh, it's by Nissin. Sorry, it's not by Cup Noodle. Cup Noodle is the sort of, well, the kind of group name. Uh, it is indeed made in Japan. And, yeah, it's pretty plain. It shows you what to do, don't throw it in a microwave, and um, add arrows to the bottom of it, or whatever. Um, yeah, it's pretty plain. I actually quite like the packaging for this one, because it looks like something you'd see maybe, like, in an anime or something, with, like, fairly plain design. Like you see in the background of Umaru-chan or something. Yeah, right, uh, let's get back to actually eating it and stuff and not just judging it by its appearance. Yeah, um, it's going to be a pretty straightforward review today. It's not going to be like the other one where we kind of, re you know, uh, videoed our reactions mm -hmm. because I don't imagine this is going to pack quite the kick. I'm expecting it to be a little bit spicy, but... Not the, as much as the other one. Yeah the, yeah, the pleasant kind of spicy, the kind of, man, that's got a nice kick mm. to it. I so, like the design of it, I have to say. It's just, it's straight to the point. Yeah. Chili, tomato, and it looks like a tomato as well. So, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm looking forward to this. Bonus points for the uh, packaging, definitely. I know that's not really something you base wrong purchases off, but whatever. Anyway, before we do this, we need some chopsticks. Okay, right, brilliant. Um, also, we need to boil the kettle and stuff. So, uh, gonna go do that give you maybe a bit of a close-up of the noodles, and then we'll be back to taste test. And a bizzle. Alright, it's been about five minutes or something. Uh, I think these take about three. Uh, I did put a little clip of us pouring in the water, because that's the most important part. Otherwise, this could all be fake and CGI. Yep. Um, yeah, gotta say, I was proper impressed that uh, A, it didn't have the little spice packet thing. It was, everything was already there. B, and B a ton of vegetables and stuff. Really, I really like seeing that. Any, um, it's really aromatic as well. Yeah, it's got a really nice taste. Uh, taste, smell. And, um, yeah, in my book, any any cup ramen that has veg and stuff, even though it's dried, is still pretty darn good. Because uh, that's, you know, that, that's you like to see, really. It's uh, Okay. So, without further ado, let's grab a uh, chopstick full. Not chopstick, it's quite, it's quite difficult, actually. Here we go. It's, uh, Right, here we go. Right, well, let's down. do our initial taste test. Down the chute. Hmm. Ooh. Yeah, that is... 
It's hard to describe fully. It's definitely a stronger tomato taste than a chilli taste, for sure. Mm. There's not... There's not a kick to it yet, but it feels like something that might kind of linger on the tongue. Yeah, over. I feel like it'll get that. Also, the noodles themselves I really like. So they're mm. a little bit thin. Uh, they're kind of the flat ones. But they've got substance to them. They're not the kind that just like disappear in your mouth. Yeah, oh, definitely. They, um, yeah, they're actually quite high quality. Um, I'm no expert on the type of noodles, unfortunately. So. And are these uh, croutons? Uh, well, are that is the question. There is a ton of veg that I didn't really recognise. There may be croutons. There's probably some uh, bits of chilli in it. Maybe peppers, maybe tomato even. Yeah, there we go. We see that. Hmm. What was that? How would you describe that? Very... Was it a crouton? I think it was. It was very tomato Okay. Very tomato. I've just got a bit of a kick of chilli there. It's down there slightly uh, heat up, I think. Anyway, I'm going to try the sauce. Like the broth itself, it's like as you said, it's not chilli, it's more tomato -y. Um But I'm not, <clears throat> not getting much heat, I'd say that as much. <coughs> I've got a tiny bit. It definitely kind of kicks the back of your throat for a second. But no, I think, honestly, this is kind of what I like about the tomato based um, mm. noodles and pasta in that. Tomato itself is an all right flavour. When you add a little spice to it, it really brings it both. I would say, I think this anyone can eat this in terms of like hotness level. Yeah, it's, this is definitely. Um, I think this is kind of for the people who like a little bit of spice, but they wouldn't go in for like a full blown curry or something, or um, like a vindaloo. Yeah, well, I mean, this, you know, strikes me as the type that sort of, it's it's the perfect balance of anyone who likes a bit of spice. You know, from sort of, not that there's really a, a scale of it, but for those who are sort of like, like a little bit of a kick all the way up to those who really like it hot. I think this is, you know, pleasing enough, really. Aha, some onion, or something. Mm. You think it's onion? Or leek. No, it's definitely, well, there's, there's, there's a bit of everything. There's sweet corn, there's um, onion, as you said, um, <coughs> the cabbage or kimchi, I don't know. Oh, yeah, possibly, yeah. That's that's a good show. Aha, one of the feeble croutons. Crouton, crouton. I think that's meat. Is it? That tastes a little bit like pork. Can you read any of that? I can't. No. I was going to say, oh, I'll look up the ingredients now. And then you're like, oh, but I can't read any of it. But you don't need to. It's tasty. So. Also, a lot of it's in kanji, so. Kanji. Unfortunately, my kana could not help here. Yeah. <clears throat> I think the soup is where the chili kicks in a bit. It's not, well, there's not much of a kick, in, on my, in my opinion. Like, I think... As we said earlier, right? If you like, is the, the the kind of people who like this would probably like Thai sweet chili crisps, you know, yeah. sensations. You know, it's it it is. I think for chili fans who like a bit of heat, you know, you know, don't expect anything from this, you know. But saying that, it's not bad. Hmm. I think there's more tomato in this than chilli, but, you know, we can't complain. I could enjoy that. So, now we get on to the important thing. The thing that all of our fans were asking last time for. A rating system. Um, <clears throat> so to all two of you that watched the last video, uh, we're going to implement a rating system now. We've discussed this quite a bit. Yeah, quite a bit extensively. We've decided on three categories, which I shall superimpose here. The first one 
It's taste. The overall bouquet of taste, what it aimed for, how well it did it. Second category would be noodles. Uh, the quality of the noodles, you know, if they tasted alright, if they added to anything, if they were just plain and forgettable. The third one is value, um, which we have had to convert from the yen. And obviously, if you do order these, um, unless you go to a specialty store somewhere, you might have to order them from Japan, so do keep in mind there's you know, um, shipping from Japan, which is a little bit costly for sure. So it's worth get, grabbing a big bunch of yeah. ramen. So, let's go on to the first category, taste. Now, it aimed to be chilli and tomato. Did it do its job? Yeah, I think on the tomato front, absolutely nailed it. Completely killed it. I personally thought the chilli was just right. In that, <clears throat> it was it was there in that I, I could taste it on the undercurrent of the tomato. Um, but it didn't it didn't take away from any of the flavour, it just added a little bit of a spice element to it, I thought. See, so, yeah, I I like my heat, so I was expecting a little bit more, but it was it was okay. It was it was it was sadness. Yeah. The yeah. the way I view it is it's a chili tomato as opposed to a tomato chili, which would mean that it's the it's a spicy tomato as opposed to a tomatoey chili. chili, which would be completely different. Obviously, that doesn't make much sense. Um, no. <laughs> but, but yeah, yeah. Overall, if I had to rate the taste on a five point scale, um, let's not do ten points and let's not do points on the point scale. No. There's no eight point five. So otherwise, it becomes a twenty point scale. At which point, you might as well just just digress into ten point three, which it becomes a hundred point scale. On a scale of one to five for taste, I would put this at a four. I, I the thing was. I I was a little disappointed that there wasn't enough heat, but saying that I really enjoyed it. I, it was really tasty, and I also give it a four. Okay, so next part is the noodles. Um, <clears throat> it's a bit more straightforward. This uh, I really like the noodles. They reminded me a little bit of um, pot noodle or like other flat noodles, but they had a bit more substance. It actually felt like you were. You know, proper eating some noodles as opposed to some factory made kind of dried yeah. stuff. Uh, so I'd give the I'd give the noodles a three out of five. I think they were nothing mind blowing, but they were substantial enough. I also give it a three. I think um, I, I I I quite enjoyed them. They weren't lacking, but they weren't mind blowing either. So yeah. Um, and so the final category is value. Now these. Unfortunately, we've only um, trans uh, translated it to gr uh, Great British Pounds and not US Dollars. But these were one pound seventy nine uh, a cup, which would roughly dollar wise be about two dollars twenty ish. Uh, the thing or is, would, if that's different, I'll put it on the bottom. Yeah. Would you think one seventy nine for one pot? Do you think? I mean, if you think about it, if if you're in the high street stores. Um, most things are under a pound. This is under two pound for what you're getting. But I personally would. I think this is pretty darn good value. Um, partly, I think, because of all the veg and the richness of the sauce. It wasn't a, it wasn't a generic sauce. Uh, the base of it. It didn't feel like. Well, I mean, it, it obviously is, but it didn't feel like the kind of sachet thing. Is like. Yeah, put some powder in. There we are. That's the broth sauce you've got. It. This is already in with it, and which is good. I I like I like yeah. getting straight to the point. I th you know. I think that came across quite well in that it felt a little mo bit more organic. Obviously, you know it is Nissin. They're a massive company. They're not going to make organic products. They are going to factory produce. But this felt like it had a little bit more care than the average pot noodle. So, I would say for the taste and everything alone, I would give it in terms of value. Three? Hmm. I, yeah, I'd give it a three, I think. Um, a four, four would have to have just that little extra bit of care, I think, put into it. But, yeah, so, for me, I think the average would be a three out of five, because um, I voted three for two categories and four for another. Yeah. Um, and I believe your average would be three. Yeah, well. it's a three. So, overall, 
Nissin's Chili Tomato from both of us gets a 3 out of 5, which is a good. This is um, good. Yeah, I mean, I haven't thought of what each point means. Like, obviously, 5 would be absolute perfection getting now. 4 would be great. Highly recommended. Yeah. This would be recommended, I suppose. Um, 2 yeah. would be. <coughs> Two mm. would be Meh. passable, Meh. maybe, or yeah, and then one would be complete, avoid, completely avoid. avoid. Uh, yeah. So anyway, thank you very much for watching. Uh, as I said, in a week or two, we'll probably do another um, review. We've got four more different ramens coming up, so stay tuned. As they're all a bit different, they're not all going to be like chili based and stuff. Uh, some of them I don't think are even going to be spicy. No. So, so it'll be interesting. Yeah. So until next time, we'll see you.